So the suggestion is if you were to choose a, a sky lesson to learn a language, uh, take an example if you would like to learn uh, Chinese via online lesson, you should choose a teacher who is located in the country that you wanted to go in the future. Okay, take example, you're learning, you were to learn Chinese and you're looking for a Chinese teacher. You should buy a teacher who is located in either China or Taiwan or Chinese speaking area. The teacher, he or she can not only provide you the language lesson, also she or he can provide you the culture of Chinese or the, the culture of China where you're going to or traveling to in the future. This is the advantage that your teacher in your country who cannot do. Uh, for example, uh, I'm having my uh, lesson with my online student. I hear a lot about culture in Taiwan and I also take pictures and show videos to my students what's going on in my city and what's going on in Taiwan because my students has always been very interested in my country uh, or in my culture, in my country, or in my language. So with with technology, I can even show my student not only the language part, also the culture part of Taiwan. Um, I think it is very, very good that you can use technology. Better yet, if your teacher has a smartphone, you know, the teacher can take a smartphone and have your Chinese lesson outside on the street in her own country and show you around have a have a sky lesson outside on the street you know that's that's even better so to answer the previous major problem that people think the interaction between you and the teacher via sky lesson if your teacher is holding a cell phone and having an online lesson with you and going out on the street show you around his or her city and teaching some chinese don't you think that's great and do you still think that's less interactive i think Mm, with the updated technology nowadays, uh, the communication between the teacher and the student via the internet is getting getting more and more. Not only you can communicate with your interact or communicate with your teacher in class, even out of the classroom, you can still use. I don't know. You can you can still use some apps to to ask your teachers questions and to interact with your teacher. So to wrap up this video, I would like to ask you a question. What's your thoughts and comment on this topic? Please share your comment below. And thank you for watching us. Always, so we'll be coming up with more new video lessons. Keep the good work with learning Chinese, and uh, I'll see you next time. 加油，再见。